guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well in these kind of crazy times um today i am doing a scrapbook layout that's going to include a lot of stamping um a bit of mixed media some doodling and some free printables so i'm going to use a free printable that i made um which is available to download uh if you would like from my blog um which are some one inch circles that you can punch out and then stick in epoxy um kind of stick it over the top to turn them into fake flare so they'll be linked down below um i also used an ali edwards free printable um or cut file i turned it into a cut file and just printed or cut um the phrase new normal out in her handwriting um, and I'm scrapbooking about our garden and we've started doing gardening which is a new normal for us regardless of whether we're in quarantine or not but um, here I decided that I wanted to do a kind of half moon shape I used some distress ink and I'm using cracked pistachio squidged it onto a piece of packaging added some water and a brush and then I have kind of drawn around this half moon shape which I'd drawn in pencil um, and added some shading around where the photos are going to go. I have three photos, two pictures of um, flower pots in our garden and also a picture of the cat in front of the flower pots just enjoying the sunshine. It's just such a funny little face that he's pulling. So I'm using a stamp set here that I got from Wish. So I don't know if you've used the Wish website. It's quite good fun. I wouldn't use it that often personally. Um, because the postage can be a bit expensive. Um, the items themselves are pretty cheap. So I think actually for this item, it was a pound for the item and a pound for the postage. It comes from China, I think. And so it takes quite a long time to get to you, which was actually really fun because I forgot I ordered it as frequently happens whenever I order from Wish. Um, and so it arrived during kind of the social isolation phase and I was so excited. I was like, yay, something to play with. So. I am just layering up some kind of, they're kind of like daisies or so I don't really know what type of flower they are. I'm still learning the gardening. <laughs> this is still very new to me. So I'm using lots of different, um, oh, what are these inks? The little teardroppy ones. Oh, I'm having a mental block. They're dewdrop, memento dewdrop inks. Um, and I've got lots of different shades of pink and I used these cards that I made, which I put a photo of on Instagram, which I finally stamped out all my inks because I thought when you were layering flowers, it might actually be useful. So I'm using a mixture of um, petal and rosebud and um, something violet, I think I used as well. And then dandelion yellow. Um, to layer up these flowers and I'm just trying to get them so they're kind of peeking out from behind the photos so they're going to make a kind of floral spl spray in a half moon shape so this actually took me ages I didn't want to leave tons of that footage in here because I thought it would be a tad boring so um, I did chop quite a bit of it out so I'm getting toward the end now I'm just adding a few more flowers to try and fill the gaps where I could. I didn't want to do anything fancy, so I know that kind of like you can, you know, like card makers and stuff would mask sections of the flowers off so they could get kind of flowers in the background and flowers in the foreground. I couldn't be bothered to do that. I, that's just honesty, I couldn't be bothered. So um, I just wanted to make this as easy as possible. As it was, it still took me about an hour and a half to make this page. Um, yeah, so quite quite a long time I didn't film all of it and there are some bits of the footage that um I just didn't film because I was off camera doing it and enjoying myself uh it, thankfully it's only really the layering of the photos that I didn't show so yeah um just adding a few more layers of stamps in the background um and then I think I'm nearly done with this nearly she says and then she carries on stamping like a crazed woman I quite like stamping actually I think it's one of those really fun things where um stamping can really change um a layout and you could use quite basic materials and have something really quite inspired out of it I really love this layout actually it was really really good fun now I've just decided that I couldn't see enough of that green and I wanted to add some other colors so I've added old paper which is like a 
this green that you can see now um, these are distress inks that i'm using i'm just squishing them onto um well i started with packaging but it was easier on an acrylic block um and i'm also going to use some peacock feathers as well just to bring in a touch more of kind of blues and greens and i'm just adding to this little spray adding some leaves to it um, adding a bit more blending around the outside of the photos just to give a bit more depth um, and to give this impression of a kind of floral spray I suppose um, yeah I'm loving it I actually really love this layout and it's quite different for me um, I feel like I say that all the time but I, feel, I don't really know I don't feel like I have a specific um, what's the word style yet I don't know I feel like I or that it's changed a lot I'm really enjoying mixed media which I really didn't enjoy a, a few years back so it's amazing how your own style um, progresses through scrapbooking then I'm adding some splatters just with what's left on the acrylic block um, and then I've got these two cut files these are the free ones from Ali Edwards that are kind of like pandemic themed um, I didn't use this this isn't like a pandemic layout it's just for us gardening has become a new thing for us and it is becoming a new norm in our lives we didn't even have a garden before so it wasn't an option so I felt like the title was really useful in that sense I will leave a link to her blog post where she shares these so that you can um, download them if you would like to I'm just adding some of the um, old paper um, cracked pistachio and peacock feathers to this in a kind of watercolory effect I wanted it to look really loose and fun um, and I feel like that's kind of happening with this uh, layout and then I'm adding some more splatters which I'm really enjoying the splatters look really cool and actually the size and shape of the word new new normal actually fits really nicely into this arc without kind of distorting this um, half moon or semicircle shape which I was very pleased about because it doesn't always happen <laughs> um, yeah so I'm just adding a touch more color here just to the very edges and then I think it's going to skip ahead slightly and it will be showing um, some of the things stuck down that includes the photos which I layered on three different types of paper so here you go I've layered with um, a plain white, um, a plain paper that's a dark green and a pink pattern paper as well. And now I'm just using a 0 0.05 pen um, and it's a really tiny nibbed pen. I'm just adding lots of doodles. I felt like it needed some black on it but I didn't want anything too harsh because um, it just didn't really suit the layout. So. Um, I'm adding lots and lots of little doodles all over the shop here with this um, and uh, like little fronds and little buds and all kinds of bits and bobs uh, like that onto this um, layout and then what I do do as well is I just draw around the words new normal to make them kind of stand out as well but it's really sketchy um, finish to it and then I'm going to attach the new normal phrase down, add a little bit of journaling and then add just a few embellishments. I'm gonna add a um, dot that says staycation because it was relevant to the time. Um, I wrote spring 2020 quarantine <laughs> down. Um, I added some journaling as I said and I also added some tiny word stickers that I made myself as a potentially a future free printable but I was learning how to use Photoshop and trying to add um, like learn how to use the print and cut feature on my Cricut because I haven't really used that properly um, yeah and so I made these hearts as well which are cut out with the Cricut so there are some close-ups of the layout I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one bye